So hi Mike, thanks for being with us today. I know it's a short show in this, so I appreciate that. Um, you're somewhat of a blood donor veteran. You, you've been donating blood regularly for the past 20 years. Yeah. Uh, what was it like when you gave blood for the first time? For the, for the first time, um, actually, it was really, it was quite straightforward. It's easy and it was less hassle than I thought it was going to be, actually. So I wasn't um, freaked out or anything like that. Nothing, nothing weird, nothing strange. Right, okay. And so how many times a year do you donate blood on average? Um, now about twice a year. Um, sometimes it could be three, but usually about twice a year, just two times a year. A couple, of, two or three times a year you donate blood? Oh, that's excellent. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to donate blood, really, and it's something that more of us should do. So, uh, hope you enjoyed this short little video, and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Hi, Sonia. Thanks very much for being with us today. Um, I understand you're a sickle cell patient, is that right? Yes, that's right. Right, so how much blood is needed by sickle cell patients every year? Well, each month, the hospital requests three to four to four thousand pints of blood as much as three to four thousand every month wow um so that's what you're looking about forty-eight thousand a year is it yes that's right yes well, right when you when you do give blood after you've just donated yeah. how do you feel like physically and emotionally after you've just given blood Phys physically i felt always completely fine the staff at the hospitals or the blood donor centers are completely professional right um, they will not let you leave if you feel unwell um, right. you have a period of time where you rest before you go out and get well looked after get tea and biscuits you know nice relaxation and they won't let you leave unless you are 100 percent well they will still just kick you out they make sure that you're well before you go home if you've got to drive. They make sure everything's well, you know, well looked after. Yeah. So it's not, I don't know what people think happens, but it's one of the most relaxing things you can do, honestly. I love it when yeah. I donate by myself. Yeah. You know. you're, you're well looked after. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know what people are thinking, how what's going to be, what they're going to do to me. It's the worst thing is, it's just a little scratch you feel on your arm. After that, you know, a few moments, the blood is taken, and the rest of it, they are 100% professionals. They will look after you. Nothing, nothing negative is going to happen to you. So that, that, that's the physical side of it. Yeah. What about emotionally? I mean, after you just given do you like? I know it might sound spiritual. Feel it in your heart, like you've done something good, or a absolutely, you... yeah, absolutely. Because your one donation of blood could save three people's lives. Right. So just think, you know, it's about an hour, okay, an hour out of your week. Yeah. Um, but that donation of blood could save someone's life, and as you know, like my friend Sonia helps with sickle cell. Um, and I just think it's about being more involved. It's about a way of giving back, yeah? Exactly, so, yeah. you know, everyone's living their lives, they're always taking, taking, taking. How about giving back? You know, it's one donation, one pint of blood that can save three people's lives, and it takes you an hour, one hour out of your, like, out of your week. Well, with me, it just takes you one, well, yeah. half an hour. I was in that for a minute. It's hard to finish, you know, you journey down the way, but it's just an, it's yeah. an hour, you know, yeah. all, all yeah. round, all said, and when you sit down and rest and check out, it's one hour. It's nothing, is it, it's to save nothing. lives? save three people's lives with one donation right. um, and I think more people need to get involved and get rid of the fear I don't know what the fears are fears of needles all that forget that be well taken care of yeah Just lie down for a few moments and it's over nice one right, okay no oh, thanks very much for that that's great Okay, so I've just been to the reception and I'm waiting to get screened. This is where they're going to ask you a couple of questions, a couple of health questions and whatnot. Um, you might remember the days back in the 80s when I used to tell you about, you had Rowan Atkinson on the TV telling you about you like, getting blood out of the stone, etc. You get a cup of tea and a biscuit. It's a lot more than a cup of tea and a biscuit these days. Let me just quickly show you. More than just a cup of tea and biscuit. Yeah. I've just had a couple of Kit Kats there and a packet of crisps. So I'm just about to uh, give my blood donation. Um, as you can see, I'm the only black person in here, which is a pity really, because um, in our community, we really do need blood and marrow, bone marrow donors. Um, so we really need to step up our game, I think. Um, Eastern Europeans from the EU, that's recent Macrobia, they donate blood a hell of a lot more than the Canadians, which I think is embarrassing. Something you should uh, try and change. It's about numbers, it's a numbers game, right? Because obviously there's a massive demand because there's a small number of donors from the BME. If more people come on board, the pressure is lessened, yeah, the load is lessened. Gold, jewelry, Three samples. Gold, the code, okay. 
will make it as easy as possible for you to start text gold to 82222 and we'll send your secure gold back immediately. Then you just need to pop your right, gold thing, easy. Don't know what the fuss is about. <laughs> That's what we like. <laughs> At the 470 mils, when it comes to the end, it'll start making little bling 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 noises, and that will automatically cut off. So it won't take any more blood if we're not straight over. But how many black blood donors are there in the UK at the moment? Well, according to the NHS, there are 11,400 registered black donors. Right. So 11,400 of us, and how many black blood donors are needed at the moment? In the UK. Well, there is an increased demand for 60,000 people which are still needed. Okay, and why is that? Why is that such a... Well, the thing is, um, black people, they have a sub-type RF, blood right. type, and sickle cell patients like myself need, need, that, need that matched blood. I see, so... The RO subtype is like mainly black people that's got it, yeah? Yes, that's right. And that's why it's needed by black people and sickle cell patients. Yes, so, you know, doing this video, I hope that people will come out and donate. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're shy, so I'm not going to pick your face. <laughs> so you're, you're going to need your fingers now as well. You need to help me now. Oh, okay. Sorry. So that's it now, really. You're yeah, all done. And uh, yeah, you pain did, free. You did no very problem. well. He's very good. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> just going to put a plaster on there, just leave that for the rest of the day. Um, I feel fine. I think you want it for your drink, but that's how you know. Drink something. I mean, the reason why I donate is because, you know, I just know that after I've just donated, I've saved a few lives and, you know, people in our community need our blood. And I don't understand why people don't come out and donate more if they're healthy and fit enough to do so. to be doing something about sickle cell now, you know. Of course. You know, when we do have blood exchanges, um, you know, we need like quite a vast, quite a few pints, you know, we're talking some range from six to eight per person, maybe nine, okay. you know. So, you know, we, that's, that's why, you know, we yeah. need more people to come along and donate, you know, because, you know, you know, not only are you giving back, as Michael said, you know, you're helping people like me. And, it's, and as he said, you know, knowing that he's done it, you know, yeah. he, he can he can vouch for that. Because, you know, it is like a simple thing to do. Oh. You know, and we just need more people, you know, just to come out and give. Would be just so amazing. And so yeah, because I find you know, to it's so easy to just. Um go on to blood.co.uk and register, they only ask you about three or four simple questions and um, it takes less than a minute to register. And then when you actually do go there, you know, they test your blood for whatnot and um, if you can donate, great. If not, they'll let you know and um, at least you tried, isn't it? Yeah, exactly, right. that's the thing. Yeah. I'm off on my way home and uh, simple as that. You know, give blood, it's a good thing to do. You're doing something good. Isn't it? Not doing you no harm. I don't know why we don't, why we're so scared to give blood. I mean, it's no big deal, honestly. <laughs> right?